Hello, welcome to another video. Today we've got Spider-Man Lego Marvel Super Heroes 76015 Dark Arc Truck Heist. Uh, I always wanted a Dr. Octopus, I never got around to getting it. Didn't get the first one from the move from Spider-Man 1 and 2 movie. Uh, and didn't get one with the lab with, um, I think it was Iron Fist? No, it wasn't Iron Fist, it was with... Yeah, I think it was Iron Fist, some Kung Fu guy. Anyway. So I didn't get that either, but uh, this I saw this set and thought, oh, it's pretty cool. It's just Spider-Man and another same generic Spider-Man minifigure with Doctor Octopus and a car. So you know, it wouldn't take too much space. Just a car, uh, police van, which is pretty cool because I can always mix this with the, the Two-Face robbery van and the bank and all that. So that 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 that'd be good. Um, so yeah, pretty clear. It tells you what it is on the front. Doctor Octopus has this like really nerdy. Um, like his stuff. Snake warning at the bottom and the same picture on the side, so let's look at that. On the back, you got quite a bit of functions going on. You got you know the the money spewing out, the lid opening to put the minifigure. Uh, note that it is the same minifigure as the DC Comics sort of bank people, so like definitely compatible, you can mix and match, which is good for the sake of just playing really. And uh got the web jump thing, I don't know. Ooh, natural gold pieces. Come out. <laughs> uh, I got a comic book. Ooh, light is falling over. Let me out. Got the comic book. We're gonna look at that in a sec. Uh, two big bags. Instructions manual. Pretty thick instructions manual actually. And uh, unlike the Ninja Turtles one, this is actually really good quality, like paper. The Ninja Turtle Lego have really bad quality. So I'm questioning if the Ninja Turtle ones were, you know, made in China factory. Uh, also Ninja Turtle ones had slight issues with the print, which I didn't notice till later. But, uh, which is slightly annoying. So yeah, you got, uh... <laughs> Secure transport, really, uh, well, locked hat. And the code for the car license plate. Uh, just quick, let's see. Okay. Oh, uh, got the instruction manual. Got the other Spider-Man sets. Yeah, the Marvel Superhero stuff. The video game poster, of course. Um, um, so I have the you know, Electro one and the smaller one, but I'm not going to bother with the big thing because I already have a Mary Jane from the movie sets from the, in the past and uh, I don't want another big, I'm not a fan of big figures like the big hulks and such so I don't really care for that big green goblin I've got the old green goblin with uh, the super hilarious Spider-Man one actor so that's, that's fine by me, I don't need another one Spider-Man comic, okay so what happens in this thrilling issue? Oh no, people are taking photos of Spider-Man and he's swinging about and Electro's like, oh, I don't like it, I'm gonna flip over the police thing. My spidey senses, my, uh, my spidey senses are tingling. Ding! And then, and then he like, knocks all that jewel stuff out and Electro's like, I hate you, Spider-Man. Spider-Man's like, whoosh, and puts Electro in water and fries him, pretty much killing him, so murder. Uh, and then Doctor Octopus is like, ah, I've got this van and I'm stealing the money and he pulls his arms and, oh no, 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 he dodges the arms and then, and the money flies out and he's like, ah, I've got all the cash and, and somehow just, he just lands there and ties him up, you don't even get to see it, like some, there's like blocks missing. And then he's like, what? My spidey senses are tingling again. And Mary Jane's like, oh no, Green Goblin has got me. And he pun she punches Green Goblin, doesn't do anything. And then Spider-Man somehow has to play and he's got, no, that one's Iron Fist. Hmm. Who was that Kung Fu guy in the Doctor Octopus lab that's trapped? Leave it in comments below. And then, and then the plane, like, and helicopter's in trouble. And then there's a net. And I throw the net down and they get Green Goblin. And Mary Jane kisses Spider-Man, and he's like, oh, she kissed me? Like, no, really, she's your girlfriend, of course. And his spidey tendons are tingling again, and he flies off, and the end. What a thrilling magazine comic. So I put this in the montage video, and come back after the jump cut. So, uh, the set's been built, and oops, 
I was taking the photos that you can see on the Facebook link. But uh, let's quickly look at uh, the stuff we get. Um, so you got this truck, and of course inside there's a seat here, but you know it's it's flat piece. So um, if you think about really old Lego sets, when they make a car, it's usually got studs in there, and sometimes when you pull the guy out, you know this happens. You know, you, you get the guy out and ah, oh, his feet's still stuck in the vehicle and you're like, uh oh. So it's good, um, it's been a long way since and uh, a lot of the new vehicles, it's been for quite a few years now, they don't do that. Um, let's quick look at the security guard. I think nothing special, it's the same genetic security guard I'm getting in all the superhero sets. DC or Marvel, no back printing. So, whoop, whatever. <coughs> Yeah, back to the van. So, uh, stuff. Um, obviously, this is a Dr. Octopus set. <clears throat> He's got these arm things, so this car is full of those. Like, you got, you got these two bars on the front, you got the bars on the side, on I mean, you know, both sides, and you know, there's a lot of place for his arms to grab onto, to crawl around, do what he needs. Uh, you got the tiny doors, which, yeah, it doesn't really do much. Uh, you also got this tiny door down here, which, oops, I need to get that bar a little bit higher because I can't actually open it. Oh, no, that's not stuck in, oh no, it's just got stuck. And uh, this one is, well, I guess you could put stuff in there like the security guard's gun or something. And, uh, well, yeah, that's, that's how it looks. Uh, look, the, the, the van looks quite good, you know, you got the stickers that I haven't applied yet. But just on its own, it looks pretty decent. It's uh, one of the many bank trucks to add to the collection. You know, Two-Face had them, and lots of other superheroes uh, sets had bank vans. It's just it's just a thing that they robbed. So. Uh, the back looks pretty good, even though the whole gimmick is... You've got this plate down here that you can just go... Uh, oh, well, that didn't work. Let's push it really fast. Okay. Just put this place down and all the bits come out, but uh, not only does it function, uh, but it also looks, you know, relatively correct. Like, you know, the two pieces that they use, you've got these containers, you've got one that holds a bit of chunk of gold, one that holds a hundred dollar bill, or two that holds a hundred dollar bill, and one that holds two, like, crystal things. But uh, it looks good because um, when you put it in the back, it almost looks like this is the door of the van because it's got these two slots there. Um, that, that's cool. Whoever designed this, kudos. You uh, designed a pretty uh, functional and good looking uh, money van. And um, <coughs> so, uh, all these vans, there's quite, there's quite a lot of these you know, money vans, but all of them have a slightly different gimmick to them. And that's, that's cool in terms of playability. Like if you just so happen to buy all the different sets of superheroes trying to rescue a money van, you're alright because they're all just well, slightly different and they all do different things. And that's good. Uh, security guard doesn't have like a gun or stick up a ton or anything, so that's a disappointment. Like, you need something. I don't know why these security guards are so helpless. Like, you got the super villains, and you don't even give them a. <laughs> you imagine you're in the Marvel Universe and you're just driving down New York, and you've got crystals in your van, you're just thinking, <sighs> it's only about time when all these super villains show up and they don't even give you a gun. <laughs> <coughs> Next, you have this stage, which, um,. Just got a lamp and a bit of wall, and you know, you got this piece here, which is quite bouncy. It's supposed to bounce Spider-Man like onto the truck, and uh, I already tried this. Like it just doesn't work. First, you put Spider-Man there, and he's not gonna, he's gonna get stuck on this wall, right? So let's try bouncing him just like that. If I can actually hold this down. Like... See, look, it doesn't work. Let's do that again, just, just you know, to prove. Oh. Come on. See, look, it does it. So, yeah, one would think, oh, this is a stud here, so maybe I'll put him on the stud and he'll stand. I wish he doesn't get in the way of the, you know, the lamp. And, uh, this doesn't work because he's on the stud. So, what you might think is, oh, I'll, I'll get a bit fishy. I'll just head him lightly on the stud, but not fully on. And, um, that kind of works, but it doesn't go far. So this whole gimmick thing is just rubbish. It's lame, it's crap, it doesn't really work. Um, although, you know, apart from the gimmick, you can't be like lying down here like, oh look, it's a set piece, but Mary Jane is to his arm, and it's like, hmm, I guess you like sleeping in my whip. 
And you know, that's something kinky. Uh, stick him there, he's got a web thing, of course. Lots of, not too many spare pieces. He's got a few studs, a few um, slanted studs and flat pieces. Here, yeah, it's nothing special. Finally, you got a um, quick look at Spider Man. He's the same damn Spider Man as all the other Spider Man you've been getting at the new Superhero Spider Man sets. Nothing new here, looks okay, it works, it's Spider Man. It's they're dreadfully boring. Like, I've got like five of these now, just. Oh, man. <clears throat> so you got Dr. Octopus, which um, is um, somewhat reminiscent of, like, <clears throat> the uh, comic book version. Like, not the new cartoon version, but it just reminds me of the comic book. Like, he's got the lab coat and the goggles. He looks okay. There he is. Like, Arr, I'm Dr. Octopus and stuff. Uh, get rid of his arms because, you know, they're like evil. I don't know, I don't actually read Spider-Man comics. So I thought, the only thing I've got is the uh, Spider-Man 2 movie. Which was, people say it's good, so I'm going to assume that that octopus is relatively accurate. So yeah, um, I, I, this is actually a pretty cool design. Uh, it looks like that um, you rip... These, you know, these arms have been ripped off his body and uh, well, for the most part like when you have this on you're not going to see those little tubes there <coughs> well you know you'll see the ripped lab coat which makes sense because you know the tubes are in his back and they come out right so you got these like little tubes like, like right there that's showing slightly but when you take it off take, take this piece off it looks as if uh, you like ripping the um, tubes off his back Okay. Oh, now I'm cured and no longer evil for some reason. Uh, so, you know, uh, faces like haha and uh, uh, face. Yeah, and he's got really stupid hair like Dr. Octopus always has in these Lego sets. To be fair, he does have this stupid hair in the books as well, so. He and him and Guy Gardner have like a stupid hair fan club. Uh, printing's pretty decent with the little silver bits in the chest and the buttons are silver. Um, the yellow bit's kind of cool. It's got yellow hands, obviously the gloves. Uh, but if you were to say have take one of the, if you want to put them in the old Spider-Man sets, like before the superhero stuff, when they're still yellow skin, you definitely get this, and then put a yellow head on him and say like, look, he's, he's Doctor Octopus, and he totally fits with the older Spider-Man sets. So that that's something. Um, lab coat print here, but um, I really wish Lego would just make a proper like coat, race coat for Lego minifigures, but whatever. Um, but the thing is, he's not printed on the side, so I'm going to get a white marker pen and colour in these bits because it's, it's bugging the hell out of me. It just doesn't look right, so I'll, I'll do that. So, uh, is this set worth it? I, I say yes. It's uh, If you like Spider-Man is your thing, you definitely want to pick this up. It's not too expensive, it's not too big of a set, like it's a medium-sized set, so it's not too expensive. So, uh, that, that's, that's good. The playability is, well that playability sucks. Um, <clears throat> to be honest, if you're getting this, you're getting this because you missed Dr. Octopus in all the mini releases like me. Uh, I didn't get the big Dr. Octopus lab or any of the Spider-Man 2 sets back in the day when Spider-Man 2 came out. So uh, this is my first Dr. Octopus figure and <clears throat> I'm pleased with it. He's not in the, like I said, in, in an expensive set. He was in that big lab, that's why I didn't get him. Because I wanted him, but I didn't want him that badly. Uh, and, and, you know, it's, it's a bonus that this this car this is a pretty decent, fun thing to do. Like, this piece sucks, and this Spider-Man sucks. But the, the, these two pieces, they're good, and they're totally worth it. And plus, this is just a minor part of the set. It doesn't matter too much. Um, if you don't already have a Spider-Man set, then yay, you got a Spider-Man figure. But if you already have any of the Spider-Man sets, then he's really pointless, and you might want to get rid of him or something like this this is the meat of the thing and this is just crap but uh, just for this bit alone the main feature it's big enough and it's good so uh, because uh, the security guard it matches all the other security guards which is a good thing because if you have multiple superhero sets you can put all the security guards together and form like a security guard squad saving the world subscribe to Justin Carbula and cause take care and have a nice day bye